Hi, I'm Justin Thames, Director of Governmental Affairs for the Florida Institute of CPAs. And welcome to this week's edition of Impact Report, your advocacy update for all things impacting the profession here in Tallahassee. Next Tuesday will mark the official start of the 2019 legislative session. We've already seen roughly 3,000 bills have been filed. Uh, that's important because, you know, I've told you that we saw uh, roughly 3,000 bills filed for the last two years. So it looks like we're on pace to have the highest number of pieces of legislation filed in roughly the last two decades. Of those bills that have been filed, we're closely monitoring right around 150 of those bills that either directly impact or have the potential to impact the profession. As we go through that process, I have to take a moment to thank our members who volunteer their time on our technical committees. The state local government, state tax, and SEER committee members appreciate all the hard work that those folks have done over the last couple of weeks to look through all these bills that we've sent them and give us an in-depth analysis of the impact of the profession. We couldn't do our jobs without you. One thing in particular we're gonna look for on Tuesday is the opening speeches from the Speaker of the House, Senate President, and then the State of the State Address by Governor DeSantis. Those speeches are important because they give us a, a clear look at the, the main issues that those three are gonna be working on this legislative session. Now we've talked a little bit about the, the hot topic items already, and, and I'm sure we're gonna hear more about those, education, health care and uh, the environment, especially water policy. Those are gonna be some of the main priorities that we see this session. One thing that we've also mentioned that came out of the uh, governor's deregathon, we're still looking for a bill that relates to uh, the deregulation of some occupations and professions. What we've seen so far in that way is uh, mainly related to some of the education requirements and some of the other licensing requirements, predominantly for the occupations. Uh, the CPA profession has not yet been impacted by those bills, but we're continuing to monitor those and we're going to look to see what's in the main package to come out of the legislature from uh, the governor's priorities. Uh, also on Tuesday is going to be the last day to file legislation. So after that day, we'll have a, a more clear view of all the issues that we're going to engage on over the 60 day session. So we'll give you more of an update on uh, the bills that we've already been following and then the bills that have yet to be filed yet after that. I'd like to take another minute to say thank you to all of our volunteers and our members for following along. And also want to give a special recognition to one of our members, Byron Shin, for being appointed to the AICPA's tax committee. Uh, he's going to represent the Florida CPAs really well uh, as during his service on that committee and, and we're so happy that he was appointed to serve. Uh, please don't forget, you would have received in January your annual pledge for the Florida CPA PAC. 2018 was a great year for the PAC. 90% of the candidates that we helped uh, during the campaign season were successfully elected. So we, we've got to build that momentum back up and we've got to rebuild for the upcoming elections in 2020. So if you haven't made your contribution yet this year, really appreciate your support. And as always, if you ever need anything from Government Affairs, please reach out to us at govaffairs at ficpa.org. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.